you won't be writing a correlated subquery here, but I want you to write a subquery that's a little different, that's going to have a few caveats I'm going to teach you how to handle. And this is the case. I want you to show me all customers from the customer table, just select asterisk from that, where the customer has not placed an order. I've written this a couple of ways, but you're going to want to use the first way for sure. Select everything from customer table where customer number not in, and then we'll select customer number from the customer table. And I've also put where customer number is not null. You see, when you have a not in and you are taking information from a subquery list, if there is a null value in that list coming up, you'll never get any information back. That's why I said where customer number is not null because I'm protecting myself against that. You see, a null value means there's nothing there. And if you say, I'm going to have an in list and there's a null, it's not so bad. It doesn't care. It can still run. But when you have a not in and there's a null, it's big problems. And let me explain it in a logical way. If you had a little teddy bear in your hand and you said, is this teddy bear also in the cave? Somebody could walk in the cave and they'd say, well, you know, there's a little horse in the cave and there's a duck in the cave and I don't see a teddy bear, you know, this teddy bear is not in the cave. But if you said, you know, I got a little teddy bear here, is this teddy bear not in the cave? And they went towards the cave and it was dark and then they heard something growl. <laughs> they go, ooh, I'm afraid to go in there. I, I can't really see in the cave and I'm not going in there. And I said, listen, I asked a question. Is this teddy bear not in the cave? And they'd look and they go, I can't really see in the cave. I can't answer that question. And that's exactly what happens when you say, hey, is this teddy bear in the cave? And they go, well, there's a null there. I can't tell since a null means no data if that teddy bear's in the cave. So when you see, hey, where the customer's not in, and they think there might be a null in that list. Nothing comes back unless you say where customer number is not null. Dealing with ins is easy. Dealing with not ins, you got to make sure there's no nulls or you have that is not null clause at the bottom. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.